Welcome to Jank Play TCG. My name's Landon, and here we play Jank. And so I will be continuing to play the Doom Ape deck. Uh, yesterday we had a match against Mewtwo V Union, which was so close. Um, we weren't able to get some things, our opponent wasn't able to do some things, and it ended up that our opponent, with the weakness advantage, really took, uh, they took the game, um, I don't want to just blame weakness, but it had a lot to do with it, uh, <laughs> a little bit to do with it, the very, very least. A lot of it was that I did not trust in the heart of the cards, did not trust to get my last man key out in time, and I benched a Hisuian Decidueye uh, that I really shouldn't have. Oof, and this is a rough start. We are starting off with just man key here. Um, good news is we're playing against an electric deck, so uh, hopefully that really helps. We do have two fighting energy, so we can get those onto man key, and we have a rare candy. All we need is an Annihilate. And we are in such a good position. Um, nest ball. We will nest ball for a Bidoof, I believe. Uh, that way, if we get the, uh, the barrel, we have some sort of draw. And we can't attack, so we will just end our turn there. Pretty simple first turn. Uh, next turn, we're going to play the basic fighting energy. And I think we're going to play the Avery. Uh Bruno would be shuffle our hand into our deck and draw four cards, where Avery is a hard draw three. Um, I think that's going to be a lot more valuable in the long run, or not in the long run, but a lot more valuable in the percentage of our chance of getting an Ultra Ball, a Mezzagoza, or an Annihilate just off that. So let's see what our top card is. Annihilate! Okay, so maybe our strategy has changed here, and Bruno is now the better card. We will play up the Annihilate, play down the Bruno. Uh, we get Mezzagoza. Mezzagoza could be fun. Let's flip those coins. It also helps our opponent, so maybe they won't quit on us. We get heads. We're going to grab a barrel and draw two cards off of the barrel. Awesome. Just awesome. Industrious incisors, here we go. Two cards, we get a gutsy pickaxe, we'll play that down. Switch, okay. Um, dynamite punch, not an attack I really plan to use, but it's a nice backup attack that Annihilate has. And, uh, all right, so we'll grab our first prize, Nest Ball, perfect. We'll be able to get a, I'm thinking Hisuian uh, Decidui V actually, off of this nest ball, we can sw uh, switch it into the active and then use the hunting attack there. Since they only have a Radiant Greninja in the active, and I'm doubting that they have, um, or we could just keep attacking. Although, if we attack Radiant Greninja, uh, Raikou, Raikou's very fast to get powered up. Realistically, they could, um basically get going this turn and they do play down the mill tank that is immune to pokemon v so that makes hisuian uh hisuian decidui a little bit harder of a play there for us they do attach to the raikou which is an advantage for us i thought they would electric generate try to hit two energy on raikou then attach one to the greninja retreat into the raikou and attack our only okay i might just attack next turn then fleet-footed okay this is interesting, to say the least. Because I can get a one-hit KO thanks to Dynamite Punch. Yeah, why wouldn't I do that then? Right? Double Nest Ball for the win! Thank you very much! That is awesome to see. We can Nest Ball yet again for... Ooh, wait, do we need Squirrel Vet? We need Squirrel Vet. So, I was going to grab Mankey. Let's grab our Squirrel Vet. Here we go. Uh, I will attach the basic fighting energy to Hisuian Decidueye, and we will then Squirrel Vet, Nest Stash, put all that at the bottom of the deck, where it will be very useful later on. And we top deck a Man Key, which is great, because now we can Bibriel for five. We get Annihilate, we get an Ultra Ball, we get a fighting energy, we do have a Bruno that doesn't really, doesn't really seem necessary right now to play. Uh, we flip Tails on our Mezzagoza. I'm going to hold off on playing the Bruno because Annihilate is A, very close to being KO'd, which would make Bruno stronger, and B, uh, 
if we top deck a rare candy or something like that, maybe off these two prizes, we can evolve that Mankey next turn. No, we get a double turbo energy though for the Hisuian Decidueye V, and we can always Ultra Ball for the V Star. So we are looking really good right now. Uh, the mill tank is a little scary because that would mean that we probably don't want to um, promote the Hisuian Decidueye V. But the man key is not ready yet. So it's a very weird situation. If they do have a double turbo and can attack, um, they will KO Annihilate. I mean, Annihilate's got 30 HP right now. They will KO it if they have a double turbo. And that's all they need. A double turbo and Mill Tank will get the KO. So we won't want to promote the Hisuian Decidueye. So we will probably promote the man key. But we really need a, a rare candy. That's it. Just a rare candy, and we would be golden. But that is not exactly likely this early on. Uh, we do have three more in the deck. Uh, hopefully none are prized. Out of 33 cards, though, the percentage chance of us top decking a rare candy or even figuring out a way to draw two off the barrel I just doesn't seem likely, you know? We could, like, nest stash and try for another... Uh, to try for a rare candy, then Mezagoza for a possible Annihilate, but that that's also a coin flip, so. Ooh, sweet. So they don't do anything there. That, that's pretty good for us. Um, and we get Avery. Avery could be huge for us, too. So let's go ahead and play down Avery. Two Gutsy Pickaxe. Let's see what we get. A Heavy Ball. And a Double Turbo. Okay, we did not hit the rare candy. Uh... We can play down the Heavy Ball, though. Heavy Ball. Okay. What do we have prized? Wait. What? Oh, right. We only have three prizes left. One is Hisuian Decidueye. One is Rare Candy. One is Annihilate. So, one is Rare Candy. That's a little sad for us. Uh, man. Yeah, that, that's just too bad, I guess. Um, so I can Ultra Ball, though, the Hisuian Decidueye V and a Fighting Energy. And we can grab the V-Star. Beautiful. Um, we will play down the V-Star. Then we will Nest Stash here. What does that get us? A Switch. Not very helpful right now. Um, I think I will... Do I use Decidueye or do I use Barrel? I think Decidueye. Draw up to eight cards. We do get a rare candy, so now Mezagoza could get us an Annihilate here. We flip. Tails! Dang! Okay. So, we do have B B Bidoof and Barrel. Um, I think I'm okay with that. Double Barrel, while not planned can be a lot of fun so we will annihilate get rid of the melt tank they do get a prize and we get a prize and then we'll put suing decidueye v star in the active and we are just preventing them from really getting set up at all and it's feeling really good right now uh that might change very fast though so suing decidueye v star goes into the active Raiding Greninja goes into the active on their side, which always frightens me. If they can Moonlight Shuriken, they can take out a Mankey, they can take out a School Vet, and that would really dampen what we can do here. Clara coming down, um, probably going to grab a Raikou, some energy, and throw that. Uh, they could attach to the Raikou, um, or if they play Electric Generator, which why wouldn't they? So they play down the Raikou, they play Electric Generator, they get one... Well, if they get two energy, really, um, that way they can get the two on Raikou and attach one to Radiant Greninja, then retreat and attack. They're not going to KO Hisuian Decidueye, though. Mill Tank could wall, though, and that would be very annoying. Will they Mill Tank wall? I can retreat into Mankey, and, you know, if I get Annihilate, I can do it that way, but I do have a, a way to attack if. They put up Mill Tank. Yeah, they got the Raikou ready. Do they have a switch in hand? Dead air, dead air. They passed their turn. Who boy. Play down our barrel. Play down a fighting energy. Um, 
Yeah, let's go ahead and flip for Mezzagoza. Come on, come on. No tails. All right, so we will Avery. Draw three. We still don't get it. Dang, and we've got two rare candy that Nestash would put on the bottom of the deck. Oh, man. I really want the Annihilate. Come on. I know I already got one, but I want another one. Come on. All right, so uh, we're trying to draw, uh, what? We got an Annihilate, but we do have... There's the rare candy. Holy cow. All right. <laughs> Um, that's awesome. We've got Energy Recycler. We've got three energy in the discard. I'll go ahead and use it. One, two, and three. Get those back, and then we'll draw up with the barrel. Wow. What are the chances of that happening? Uh, but we get the KO without having to discard any energy. 140. Onto the Radiant Greninja. We'll grab that one. And really, all that they can do is mill tank wall, I feel. Um, and when they do that, I just have to retreat into Annihilate and Rage Fist for 70, uh, doubled with weakness, because mill tank's weak to fighting, to 140, and that's a KO. Or I could always Dynamite Punch and go even more Super Saiyan, you know? Uh, so this is going to be interesting. They do play down a Pommy, but they really have to work on surviving this turn. If they can survive this turn... There they go. Um, how would they do that? Prevent me from retreating somehow. I really don't know what the answer is. Uh, you know, maybe, what is that, Jolt? Paralyze. There you go. Paralyze the Sun Desuju IV Star and get, you know, uh, so I can't retreat into Annihilate. But, and then they evolve up <laughs> to uh, Palmot, which has that ability to accelerate energy, and then they do 230, but. A choice belt would be to 60 and still not KO the Desidrai. So we will go ahead, Heavy Ball here. Yeah, just an Annihilate in there. So that means we have one more Annihilate in deck and two more rare candies. We will go ahead and Avery right now. There's the Annihilate, but no rare candy. That is just too darn bad. And um, I am going to attack with Decidui, discarding as much energy as I can and uh, land down a big attack here. So let's go ahead. Yeah, we'll do 460 damage by discarding a double turbo, a fighting energy, and another fighting energy. Here we go, 460 damage, KOing the Raikou and taking our final prize, which is, of course, Annihilate. Annihilate doom apes doing so good i really enjoy this deck it's a lot of fun uh to be fair there's a lot of maridon on the ladder too and it's always fun to uh take them down a notch because you know maridon is played so heavily but my opponent struggled to set up and we really took advantage of that and just continued to attack even giving them a prize one turn by KOing our own annihilate in order to keep that advantage. And that's really what you got to do with Annihilate sometimes. Sometimes you just got to let yourself get KO'd, even if you got to do it yourself. Uh, and it just powers up your other Annihilates. It's so much fun. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Last video, we took on Annihilate's weakness. This video, we took on uh, what is weak to Annihilate. So who knows what we're going to see for the rest of the week. We got two more videos. Very excited to see what happens there. I haven't even recorded them yet. Um, I just know when this one's going out. So thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you enjoy what I do here. Subscribe to the channel because why the heck not. And join the Discord where we can have more one-on-one -on -one interactions and you can help me build my decks and um, we can just chat weird stuff right now. Uh, yeah. Thank you. And until next time, keep playing Jink.